and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to start a new weekly vlog. It is the evening, super cozy. I've been vlogging at night this week for some reason, but I am about to do my nails. I'm just having like a girly, cozy evening. I also have a little cocktail going. This is just Prosecco in this glass, but my sister got me this super cute little cocktail set. You just pop one in. The Instant Champagne Cocktail Kit by Tespressa. I've never heard of this before, but we're gonna try one tonight. I figure might as well. Three different kinds, raspberry, strawberry, and peach. I'm gonna top my glass off here, and then I'm also going to pop one of these cute little strawberry cubes in. And I'm gonna enjoy, hopefully. I feel like it's just a cube of sugar, but it's super cute, and I love the idea, because I do not make cocktails at home. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna try it. Cheers to the new year, fam. She's still dissolving, but... It doesn't taste like anything. So, as you can see, I've just dyed my hair. Finally, went way too dark. I was not meaning to go this dark. I get the full effect until tomorrow when I get ready. So, we will see then. It's the next day. I've had a chance to style the hair. I'm obsessed. It definitely is a drastic change compared to how red and how light my hair was. I had that color in for so, so long. I've been doing the same color all year round. So, just to look in the mirror and see something a little different is really nice. I love that I changed it up right at the new year because it just gives you that fresh start feeling. I feel like a new woman. I feel rebirthed. I just need a good haircut and we'll be all set. But yeah, I just had to pop in here because I actually quite like it. It is very dark, but it matches my eyebrows. And that's just like crazy that my natural hair is this dark. I did see somebody talking about though, your natural hair is the perfect hair color for you. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I think the red was super pretty. I like all of my hair colors. There's never been a hair color I didn't like so this is fun for winter this is a good winter change but yeah just wanted to check in with you guys Hi. the next morning i just gave my hair a keratin treatment this morning i woke up at 5 a.m and did it kudos to me i've been putting this off for a little bit but it feels so incredibly good i just did one of those at home keratin kits get it online i will link it down below for you guys it's from my favorite salon back in new york and it's definitely not the same thing it's formaldehyde free so it doesn't have a lot of chemicals in it it's not quite as strong as the ones you would get in a salon but it definitely it does the trick and keeps my hair frizz free and my hair just feels so healthy so i'm about to head out to a coffee shop and get some work done i'm gonna put on a cute outfit but it's friday it is freezing out in la i woke up and it was like 45 degrees out i'm wearing this super cute sisters and seekers matching set comfy and a cheek i've been wearing it a lot now that it's getting colder out uh, i should probably go get some more but it's such a nice little set we still look put together but you're comfy. Before I head out though, I also have my dossier package get dropped off. One of the many things I'm bringing into 2024 with me is my signature scent. I just think it's so nice to have a scent that just smells like you everywhere you go. People smell it. They just know that like, oh, she's been in this room. Oh, that scent reminds me of her. I just wanted to find my signature scent and I found her and I'm so happy. It's the Woody Sandalwood scent from Dossier. If you guys have smelled the Lalabo Centile scent, it is an exact dupe for that and I absolutely love it. It's genuinely my favorite fragrance. I've ever smelled. Every single time I wear this, I get so many compliments. You guys have never heard of Dossier. They make luxury fragrances at a fraction of the cost. So you can find anything on their site from Gucci, Lalabo, YSL, Dior, Chanel. Every single designer fragrance that you would want is on the Dossier website and they have a dupe for it. Definitely check out Dossier in the description box. I did want to show you guys some new fragrances I got in and test them out for you. This is so fun for me because I never was a fragrance girly. I did pick out this one. It's called Citrus Matcha. It is a dupe for Lalabo the matcha and I'm super excited to try this because so far I've been loving every single one of the Labo scents. That's such an interesting scent to me. Definitely picking up the citrus notes. Mmm, very fresh. This has bitter orange, bergamot, matcha tea, fig, vetiver, cedarwood, and musk. That smells really good. That might be giving me a good runner up for my woody sandalwood scent. What I got is the YSL La Libre. It smells so good mandarin and lavender vanilla and amber this is for my warm scented girls last but not least i got the woody sage which is a dupe for joe malone wood sage and sea salt cologne Ooh, i like that too mmm that smells very citrusy and like your typical citrusy florally grapefruit sage amber wood fig tree this is really nice and girly i've just become such a huge scent fan through dossier so definitely check out the link down below if you want to get your favorite luxury fragrances at a fraction of the cost 
I got a Sephora haul in, so I wanted to end this video with a little New Year's Sephora haul. By the time you see this video, it's well past New Year's, but it doesn't mean it's too late to restock on your faves. I needed a good restock. Hairspray, hair tools, maybe a couple Dior items. So I wanted to open up some Sephora goodies with you. I picked up some pattern products. Pattern by Tracy Ellis Ross. Love her so much. I wanted to try some of her hair products. I've been needing a new paddle brush. I've used this already. I put it back in the box just for you guys, but I actually used it and I love it. Love this big paddle brush. As you can see, it just combs through the hair so nicely. It's great for detangling. Love that, no snagging. I just really like it. I like the base of it too, just like black. A nice black brush. This is my favorite product of all the things I bought from Sephora. This edge brush. Love it so much. Perfect for the gym. Love that it comes in this little felt bag and I pop it in its bag and I keep this in my gym bag. I always need like a little brush in my to-go bag, you know? So I love that I can travel with this and I love that it has the pointy end. I can part my hair. Highly recommend. We'll link down below. This pattern gel, the hard gel, I got to go with the brush. Obviously, this is definitely for my gym bag. I like to slick my hair back in the gym and get it out of my face but I hate having like flyaways if it looks sloppy to me it's just it's not the vibe and I like to look and feel good even when I'm working out I do like it um, the only negative I like with gel is that once it hardens and your hair moves at all it ends up kind of having these like flakes not crazy about the gel but that's with any gel I feel like that's just the nature of hair gel and then I also got the verb hairspray I just tried it for the first time last week really like it got a medium hold I would say not too strong and this bad boy I've gone through about five or six bottles of verb ghost oil and it is the bomb every time one of my friends uses it when they're over they're, they're like what is this what is this oil i'm a huge fan of the verb ghost oil i love it so much makes your hair super moisturized but doesn't weigh it down and make it greasy it's not greasy at all it's just a really nice soft lightweight oil i also picked up a little baby hourglass concealer i don't know why i did that because i have hourglass concealer i was getting ready this morning and i just realized i have the same concealer and it's not even almost gone it's like a half a thing left so whatever i got a backup for travel i guess and i also got this steel up liquid eyeliner which is supposed to be like the bee's knees it had a lot of awards new liquid eyeliner I haven't worn eyeliner wow i haven't worn liquid eyeliner in almost two years probably you guys i know that sounds crazy but like who wears liquid eyeliner anymore i want to wear liquid eyeliner again so i got that i also got the fan fest mascara by benefit i tried it already it's pretty good nothing extraordinary but it's pretty good i don't know if i would mascara is one of those things like you could probably get a drugstore mascara and then i also got these were the two things i was the most excited about and i'm disappointed by both of them sadly i picked up another rosy glow blush from dior and i thought i was gonna love it of course and i don't sadly i'm just not feeling it i wanted this like purple mauvey blushes i'm gonna try it out with you guys right now i have a little orange on already but Watch this look so good too. And then I'm gonna change my mind. <laughs> Maybe I just put too much on last time. Cause the pink one I have to like pack on because, okay, that is really pretty. I knew that was gonna happen. No, but it still looks kind of blotchy from my, from what I can see in the viewfinder, like it looks kind of blotchy to me. Splotchy, blotchy. Am I tripping? I don't know. From what I can see, it just looks a little bit too much or like splotchy or something. So I'm going to take her back, I think, unfortunately. I would get the orangey color, but I already have something like that and I don't need it. So there's that i was trying to have a little fun with my makeup but i when you get to a level you have everything like what else do you need and i also got this four brand retractable lip liner and i got this because i liked how deep it was but i think it's actually too dark of a color for me let me try it on as well with you guys i'm gonna end up looking like a clown by the end of this video 
Love my lip color today though. I will tell you what I have on right now. I have on KKW Beauty Brown Liner with this Glossy A Genji Lipstick. It is in the color Like. So I did the brown liner on the edges and then I put this in the center. And then on top of all of it, I put gloss. Loving this lip trend right now where you do brown with like kind of pink or light color in the middle. And then a really pretty pink gloss on top. This is Cherry Vanilla by the brand Lawless. I think they sell this at Sephora too, so I'll make sure I leave it linked. But this has become my favorite lip gloss. The Lawless lip gloss is so thick and buttery, and it lasts the longest out of all the lip glosses I own. And I love the doe foot applicator on it. It hugs your lips. Back to the lip liner. Let's see how we like. Not feeling that, not feeling how deep that is. So we're gonna probably return those two goodies. But other than that, I loved everything I got. A little baby stock up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.